Hi friends, welcome back. So today we're just going to have a quick video because I have another painting that I want to review, but it's pretty small. This is actually a print that I got from a friend of mine. Her name is Diana Monty, and I love, I love this painting. It is absolutely gorgeous. And so I would love to spend some time talking about it, but I think the only way that we're really going to get a good camera angle is if I point you down at the desk. So let's try that, and let's check out this adorable little painting that I keep hung above my bed because it's so stinking cute. Let's take a look. So unlike our last one, like I'd said, this one's a lot smaller. This was actually the only print at the time that I could find of this one. Um, this is not one of her bestsellers. It's not her usual style, but I love this piece by Diana. She is a wife of one of the pastors of the church where I go, and she does classic oil painting, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I just fell in love with this piece as soon as I saw it. This is like a 5 by 7 print. I don't even care that it's so tiny. I love it. So, and it's, it's kind of similar to some of my styles, which I think is something that I really fell in love with at the time, because this was kind of a thing of, look, this is your style. There's somebody out there who's doing your style. That means that people out there like your style. And for a complete newbie like me, that is really, really encouraging. And I just love this. I think it's gorgeous. The, the tonality that she has in here is beautiful because, and I'm hoping this comes through, you can see in the sky, it's shades of blue from this very light all the way up to an almost black. But in it, are these pops of this almost clay color. It's this peachy, not really peachy, it's clay. It's just straight up clay colored. That's just very expertly blended into the background and highlighting some of the clouds and even highlighting a little bit of the moon to show that the sun went down. <laughs> sun go down. Moon go up because it's a warm tone, and the moon doesn't make warm tones, the moon makes cool tones. This, this is the hint of there once being a sun in the sky, which I just, I love the way that she did that. I love the little subtle details in this. Her clouds look gorgeous. I know this is when she was working on clouds, and I know sometimes she looks at these and doesn't really like them, I think everybody has that. I think everybody, especially with clouds, will look at them and be like, one day think, oh, those look amazing, and then the next day think, oh, those look terrible. I love these. I think they look fabulous. I honestly really like how some of them disappear a little bit over the moon. I just think that looks really cool. It's just adorable. It's this little dude who's wrapped a string around the moon and he's pulling it down. And it's just... It's one of those paintings that you just love to hang over your bed and just stare at from time to time. Even though it's really small, even though it's hard to see all the details, I just, I want to stare at it and count the stars. I want to stare at it and be mesmerized by the brush strokes in the clouds and in the moon and look at the tiny little star details and wonder whether that's splatter or spatter or how many of them are actually painted like this one this one and this one look like they're little crosses which would mean that she had to have actually taken the time with a brush to paint those and then even to just look at the grasses and look at every single tiny stroke for every single color in the grass because there's like it looks like six or seven different shades of green down here. I don't know if there actually are. There's probably like three. But when you mix all of those together, it becomes six or seven shades that just blend into this really gorgeous, like, yes, it's simple, 
but it's simple in a really good way because it's simple in a way that makes you not look at the grass and just look at the boy who's caught the moon and he's pulling it down. Conceptually, I adore this painting and with the way that it was painted, I love it even more. It is one of my favorite pieces that I have hung in my house. And that is saying something because most of the pieces hung in my house are mine. So I like those. And I liked them enough to hang them, so I must like them a fair bit. But I love this one. I actually got this piece before I really started super delving back into painting. And like I said, this one's just been a really big inspiration to me that you can paint and you, even if, even if you're not as experienced as someone like Diana, who's been painting for years, clearly by the design of this, even if you are someone like me who dabbled when you were a kid and is just jumping back into it in adulthood and is finding that there's a lot of really cool techniques that you never learned as a kid, but you can learn them now. Even if you never once did anything artsy in your life and you're 50 years old and you decide you want to pick up a paintbrush and do something, pieces like this inspire me to remember and realize that that's a thing. That there's an artist inside a lot of us and it just takes getting one piece of inspiration for you to decide that you are now going to sit down with a pencil and some paper and sketch your idea and see how it comes out and see if it's as pretty in reality as you thought it was in your mind. Because even if it's not right now, I guarantee you can hone that idea and hone that ability to get as good as someone like Diana or even someone like Silver Francis who we looked at last time we did one of these. All it takes is time and dedication and passion. And I think the passion is honestly one of the biggest things and one of the things that people don't talk about that much. You need to have that passion for painting and I see that in every single one of Diana's pieces. I will see if I can get another one of hers, maybe a slightly bigger one, that we can look at in more detail because it is hard to really review something that's this tiny. But I'll see if maybe she'll let me borrow a piece that we could just review and I could give it back. Because that would be fun. Might be answered before I could do that. I don't see her very often. But that would be fun. And this piece is just... It's so cute and it is so inspiring and I hope one day that my pieces are as inspiring to someone else as Diana's piece was for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back in a couple weeks with a whole new one. Bye!